Bailey Miller joined us live from the scene with an update. Bailey. Ken, we did get an update from police and they say a woman in her 70s has died in this collision and a woman in her 50s was taken to the hospital. But take a look at this scene. Most of it has been cleaned up, but you can see a tow truck driver. He's here and they're about to load the last car involved in this collision onto that truck to take it away. And where that car is right now, that's where a fence was. So this collision completely broke down this fence on this homeowner's yard. And we actually talked to that man and he is completely angry about what happened here because he he says this has been happening quite a bit here at this intersection. So what they say is at around five o'clock, a woman in her 70s was driving through the intersection. She ran through a stop sign and hit the woman in her 50s. Now both of those cars ended up colliding and hitting a parked car that police say luckily had no one inside. Now they're just warning everyone because this was a two way stop and it's very dark out here to be careful when you're driving in Fresno County. Well, obviously um, all intersections are dangerous, especially when it's two way stop um, because you know, one party's obviously expecting the other, the other to stop. Um, so always drive with caution, especially when it gets dark um, out in Fresno County in any, any intersection area. And police are investigating right now if alcohol or drugs had anything to do with this crash or if it was a case of distracted driving. And as for the woman who was sent to the hospital, police say that she has a broken leg and they're also still trying to learn about her condition at this hour. She is at CRMC getting care there. But um, this intersection, it's still closed off here as they're cleaning it up. A lot of cars have had to turn around and go a different way through here. But um, once again, you can see um, that this is a very active scene here and um, one woman has died. Another has been taken to the hospital live in Fresno County. I'm Bailey Miller, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.